A new report released by one of the world's biggest consultancy firms has found that investments in plant-based alternatives to meat led to far greater cuts in climate heating emissions than any other green investment. The report from the Boston Consulting Group found that for each dollar, investment in improving and scaling up the production of dairy and meat alternatives resulted in three times more greenhouse gas reductions compared with investment in green cement technology, seven times more than green buildings. And this is the most impressive one, 11 times more than zero emission cars. They think the reason investments in the plant-based alternatives to meat delivered this high impact on emissions was because of the huge difference between the greenhouse gases emitted when producing conventional meat and dairy products and when growing plants. Beef, for example, results in 6 to 30 times more emissions than tofu. The report said that alternatives make up 2% of meat, egg and dairy products sold, but will rise to 11% in 2035, and this would reduce emissions by an amount almost equivalent to global aviation's output. For those wanting to invest, Malt Clausen, a partner at BCG, says, We call it the untapped climate opportunity. You're getting more impact from your investment in alternative proteins than in any other sector of the economy. Meat and dairy production uses 83% of farmland and causes 60% of agriculture's greenhouse gas emissions, but only provides 37% of protein and 18% of calories. A diet that swaps meat for plants means less forest is destroyed for pasture and fodder growing and less emissions of the potent greenhouse gas methane produced by sheep and cattle. Roughly a quarter of the world's greenhouse gas emissions comes from food, land use and agriculture, and more than half of that is just from beef. They also noted that a move towards plant-based meats could also help alleviate food crises by cutting out the middleman. Whether it's a cow, chicken or pig, instead of feeding all these crops to animals and then eating the animals, we should just use the crops directly for our consumption, which would mean we would need less crops overall and it would alleviate the constraints on the system. Scientists have concluded that avoiding meat and dairy products is the single biggest way to reduce your environmental impact on the planet, and that large cuts in meat consumption in rich nations are essential to ending the climate crisis. For many of us, we've already known about the profound impact a plant-based diet can have on the environment through documentaries such as Cowspiracy. However, I was quite shocked that these findings were being reported in mainstream media. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the turning point we've been hoping for? I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments below. Now we must just talk about the impact of these plant-based meat alternatives on our health, especially when it comes to the sodium content, with some products containing more sodium than a beef burger. However, they are excellent transition foods. And actually, this previous video did throw up some interesting findings. And this one may be of interest as a medical doctor and dietitian discuss the health implications of these alternative plant products. Both are linked below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.